What's up, everybody? This is Carl from Techful Goodies, and Domi Fan has just come out with a brand new version of their triple screen monitor. This is the Domi Fan S6. So I wanted to thank them for sending this over and sharing this with me so that I could share it with you because it has a lot of new cool features. One of the things about the Domi Fan brand is that they actually listen to a lot of customer feedback and make changes to the product itself. On the previous product, I had some issues with the fact that it wouldn't stay on the back of the monitor very well. You only had one orientation, and this fixes a couple of those problems. So in general, these are 15.6 inch monitors, 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz, 1001 contrast ratio, which is all pretty standard. The cool thing about it is that you have a landscape display, a portrait display, or a portrait and landscape display. So you can decide exactly how you want to use it. And you'll also see the way that your laptop sits with the monitors is a little bit better this time around. So in the box, we get their standard carrying case, which I think is an okay carrying case. Can you find something better? Sure. Um, it is pretty hefty, this whole package here, but it just depends on where you're going to be using it and how heavy you're comfortable with. That's actually pretty hefty. A user guide, setup manual. So these are important. When you get this, look at this because it's going to show you all the ports. It's going to show you all you get in the packaging and it's going to show you what you need to look for to make sure that your USB-C port is a full featured USB-C port. We'll talk about that more later during the setup, and I, but it's very important that you understand that your laptop can support this. Also in the box, we get this thing right here. We'll figure that out. Also get all the cables, which every time I say this, so nice that they provide the cables because that means you have different options of the ways to set it up without having to worry about finding your own cables and figure out which ones to use. And one more thing here looks to be an additional part of, I'm assuming the kickstand, but we'll figure it out. All right, so. Here's the device itself. Now this might take a little bit of setup because I'm, I'm learning as you're learning. One of the things that I like to do when I do these videos is make sure that I spend some time kind of learning it as I'm filming this because then you'll get a chance to see all the mistakes I might make or all the triumphs that I might make in order to set this up. So let's organize this a little bit. And I have this top down camera set up so that it's as far away as possible so that you can see everything in the top-down camera. And the thing that's cool about this is that you no longer clip it to your laptop. And these here are the individual monitors. Let's go ahead and peel off the goodies. The way these are set up is that you have the right and the left, and it also has a slide-in connector right here, which goes onto these here. Now, on the bottom of the display itself, let's get this in the right light, is that you can see all the ports here on the back side, and this is where you're gonna wanna hook up each one of the monitors. And one of the things you can note here is that these are two individual monitors, completely separate, not interconnected. That means that when you hook them up to your machine, you have to hook up both monitors. All right, so the way they've got this set up is they've got USB-C with DP uh, on this one. This one is type 1C, type 1C2, and power. Okay, now all that'll make sense in a second. So basically, if you look at this cable right here, you have a little adapter right here that has a DP port on it. So if your computer has DP out, you can use that, or you can use USB-C, or you can use HDMI, or you can use just plain USB-C. I know this tends to get a little confusing, but you need to know what your computer is capable of and which one you want to use. In this particular case, I'm going to be using a laptop, which has a USB-C port and an HDMI. So we'll set that part up too. But DP also works similar, very similar to HDMI. So it depends on what outputs you have and which ones you want to use. So I also want to point out something else too about the multiple features of this monitor. So you can have it in a vertical mode like this, where both screens are kind of on top of each other. That's where this comes in that allows you to have that extra, I guess, connector here to be able to hook up a monitor like that. Or you can have one horizontal, one portrait above it. You can have them in sort of a display mode like this, where if you want to be looking at one of the monitors or have people to the sides of you looking at the monitors and you're looking at a monitor, it's like a presentation mode. And you can also have it in the standard sort of side-by-side -side mode. So the way this works is you take Take your base, right, and you bring these out if you just want a standard side by side, and there's a kickstand on the back here. Take a look at it. 
okay? So that kickstand gives you the angles you might want to based on your laptop, okay? So I'm gonna set this up here. And then what you do is you go ahead and connect the right monitor to the right side and the left monitor to the left side. Once those are clicked in, you have the ability to basically take the monitors, slide them to the angle that you want. I'm gonna put them about here. And again, like I always say, I suppose I should find a solution to this, but my top-down camera doesn't always show everything. What you do at this point in time is that you're able to take your standard laptop, pull this apart so that it's at the right distance for you, and then your laptop basically just sits in between all of them. Now that's pretty cool because now this is not dependent or hooked up to your laptop. So if you want to go ahead and take this, take your laptop, close it up, piece out to the coffee shop or something like that, and leave this at home, kind of set up in your multi-monitor display, you can do that. Or even if you wanted to, you could leave this set up, put it up on a riser, have another portable monitor in the middle and have four monitors. But in this particular case, we're just gonna go ahead, open this up and give it a try. So now we're gonna set it up. This particular laptop has a HDMI and a USB-C on this side. So what the first thing I'm going to do is look at the cables here. This one says, please connect this port to our product. So I've gone ahead and hooked the USB-C cable up to the Type-C 1 port. So there's two Type-C ports on the back. And so I've hooked it up to the Type-C 1 port and I'm gonna plug this into the side of my monitor. Once I do that, I can see that the left one is getting power now and it is correctly working. That's very nice because Type-C, when it's a full featured Type-C port, and you'll know that on your laptop because you can look on the side of your laptop's Type-C port and you should see either a lightning symbol or a D with a P in the middle of it. And that basically tells you that it is a full featured port. You can also look up your specs of your laptop to make sure it is a full featured port. That way you know it'll work with just one USB-C cable. All right, so USB-C, one cable plugged into the back of the left monitor, okay? The right monitor, I do not have another USB-C port, okay? So how do we solve that? So we take the HDMI cable that they gave us and we're gonna hook this up. Now, I'm sure you've heard me say this before, an HDMI cable does not carry enough power to power a monitor. So what does that mean? If I plug this in by itself, I will see nothing over here on this monitor. What that means is that I need to provide extra power. And that's why they kind of give us these extra cables here, these smaller cables. So you can see this one is USB-A to a USB-C. You can either use a wall plug with a standard brick to give that power, or you can use your laptop's USB port. So I'm gonna use the USB port for power, but again, if you're low on ports, you can always use a brick. And then we just take the standard HDMI, plug it into your machine, and I'm gonna plug both of these into the back of the monitor here. All right, so now I've got this all hooked up and plugged in. Now, it was difficult for me to show that on my camera, so I'll explain what I did again. Type-C, straight into the Type-C 1 port on the back here, okay? HDMI out of my HDMI port into the far right port, because if you hook it up to a, the Type-C 1 or the Type-C 2, this HDMI won't be recognized, okay? You hook the power up to a Type-C 1 or Type-C 2, okay? I know it gets a little confusing, but you wanna make sure that when you plug these things in, you don't go to yourself, I'm getting a signal, I don't know what to do, this thing isn't working. You just need to make sure you're plugging into the right place. If you have two Type-C ports, right, then you can basically go one cord to this one and one cord to the other one, both going into the C1 and the C2 ports. Just make sure that you have them hooked up right, and then they all should just pop on and be just fine. One of the things I'm noticing now is that I am in the sort of clone mode for these, so I'll go ahead and set it up to extend the monitors. I'm going to change everything to extend. And then what you can see on here, if you can see it on my camera, is this is one, this is two, this is three. I'm gonna go ahead and hit identify, and you can see three is over here and one is in the middle. We don't want that. So you can actually go ahead and drag this one to the right, drag two to the left, line them up how you want them. And this is the way you would set it up if you wanted them to be a vertical above your monitor too. 
you would go ahead and set it up in here. You can go ahead and drag like two above the other one like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to leave them all as they are here. And if I had to identify again, you can see three is on the right, one is here, and you can't see the one for two because it's off to the left. All right, so now we've got everything set up the way we want it. One of the cool things that we can do with this setup is if I really wanted to, I can actually take this monitor here and rotate it in a portrait position. So that allows me to basically use this in a portrait position. If I wanted to read my Discord or my chat or documents or something like that, I can do that in a vertical mode while leaving this one this way. Now you might notice this one here is sideways. It's easy to do. You come into the display settings again, you'll just scroll down a little bit and you can change the orientation to portrait. And in this case, I'm gonna do portrait flipped to make sure that it's right side up, okay? So now you can see this one's working here, this one's working here, and the one in the middle is working. I can do the same thing with the other monitor too. If I wanna go ahead and rotate this one to be vertical, I can do so. That way I have two vertical monitors right next to each other. You would also have to come in here and change this one over to portrait because it is not portrait flipped. It's on the left side, keep changes. And now I have, let me slide this forward here. Both of my monitors in portrait mode and my regular laptop in the middle. You're starting to see kind of the power of this triple monitor device. You can have the different orientations that you want and you can set it up how you want. And like I said, it's not connected to your laptop. So it's a little bit more sturdy, a little more stable. And you can just pick up your laptop and move around the house and come back and just plug everything in. And I'll tell you what, these monitors actually look really, really nice. The display looks great. Again, if I want to take this over here and just have my control panel on the on the on the right screen, if I want to come in and put Chrome over here on the left screen, I can do that. In the middle, I could be working. If I want to, I can pull up like a YouTube video over here. So I go ahead and have a video over here if I want to. I could actually go ahead and take this and put it up at the top, bring another window down at the bottom there, pull up a file manager, put it on this side, and then just do all my work while a video is playing here. And my system settings are here, whatever you want. I mean, it's, it kind of is endless on how you can set this up, but this is so much more flexible to allow you to use it the way you want to. And again, the other thing that you can do is if you don't wanna have your laptop in the middle of these, you can then go ahead and make this into kind of like a stacked mode like this. And that's what they give you this, these extra converters for here. Now, the way this works is you now take the whole unit, and this is gonna be another hard thing to show on camera, but you basically take it like this and flip these up, okay? If they're flipped up, you can use them in this orientation here, or, Take one of the monitors off, and they give you these two little things right here, okay? The way this works is slide it onto the base part here. Take this one, put it in the top here. Take your monitor, put it back on this. <laughs> and now if you can see this, it is in the, the full like extended upright position. So if you wanted to have dual stacked monitors, you can. It's so difficult to show this on camera. I absolutely need a third camera. And of course, you can do the same thing that we were doing before, where you rotate this, put this up higher if you want, and block me completely from the camera. There we go. So as you can see, this is such a flexible system. Hopefully this video helped you figure out how to set it up and how to get it working. There's a lot of intricacies with these triple monitors, especially when you start hooking up to your laptops or your computers. Just remember these three things. USB-C needs to be full featured, allowing video and power. If that's the case, you can use one USB-C cable. HDMI can work also you have one HDMI cable, and then you use an additional power. So once you have that additional power, HDMI will work, and both monitors will work. If you have two full-featured USB-C ports, you can hook them both up with one cable each. But take a look at your ports, because a lot of times one of them will be full-featured and the other one will not. If you have a DP out on the back of your computer, you can use that also. Depending on your computer, you will probably need the extra five volt power for DP also. And don't forget, if you have any question as to whether or not your laptop's gonna work with this, go to either the Amazon listing or the homepage for this device, 
read through it. It'll tell you the limitations of what computers can work with the monitors themselves. And don't forget the quick setup guide here. It's super important because it's gonna show you all the different ports, what they're used for, the, the definitions, how you can set it up, how you can lay it out with the uh, Type-C connections and the HDMI connections, what type of ports you can use. So you can see here with the lightning or the DP symbols, if it doesn't have that, it won't work with USB-C. And it'll show you how to use all the different orientations on the back of this paper. Very important paper. Make sure you check that out. Anyway, I hope this helped. I understand that sometimes it's difficult for me to show from the top down view some of these larger items, but I feel like the most important thing is understanding how to get it hooked up and how to get it working. And if I can help you with that, that's, that's key for me. These monitors look awesome. Definitely check them out. Give me a like or a thumbs up if this helped you. Uh, share it with your friends if they're looking to get this triple monitor set up. But until next time, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.